Hey guys, I get questions all the time. Well, again, I shouldn't say all the time, but I get quite a few questions about action centers and fall offs inside Moto 302. And we're going to start some periodic videos about these action centers and fall offs, and we'll ded dedicate a video to each one. Or maybe, you know, the action centers might be able to fit all into one video, and a few of the fall offs will. But right now, we're going to start this little video journey together, explaining our action centers and our fall-offs with one tool. It's a good place to start, and it's one of the funnest tools that you'll have inside of Moto. And it's the airbrush fall-off, okay? As you can see, right now, if I go up to fall-off, I have none selected. And I have my little, you know, my little T-Bot here that I've subdivided one time by hitting the D key. Okay, so, let's go to Polygon. Now, remember... I'm going to pick the bevel, okay? Now, let's just say I go to polygons, click this polygon, hit the B key, click to activate the tool. Now, I've got bevel activated, okay? Now, I want you to realize that sometimes you may get a different bevel where you won't get the blue handle, okay? So, hit the B key, and you should be just fine. If you hit the B key to activate your bevel tool, then click. You should be just fine because there's your blue handle, okay? So let's undo all that. Now we have us a normal, normal pot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go about it the old-fashioned way. Instead of hitting the B key, I'm going to go to my Polygon tab and select Bevel. I'm not going to group my polygons, okay? And I'm going to go up to Fall Off, and I'm going to select my Airbrush Fall Off. Now the Airbrush Fall Off is probably the funnest and coolest Fall Off that's in Moto. Now if I right click, I can adjust my airbrush area. I want to size it down. Okay, now if you notice, before I turned on my fall off, I made sure my bevel tool was activated. Now you'll notice the polygon bevel is activated by hitting shift B. Okay, let's see here. What else can I, how can I demonstrate this? Whereas the mesh edit regular bevel is activated by hitting the, just the B key without the shift. But we're going to stick with the polygon bevel because it gives us the two handles. Um, as, I, as you can see, I have my airbrush fall off turned on. Okay, so I'm going to click, and there you can see that's activated a bevel inside the radius of this airbrush. Okay, so now let's bevel these out a little bit so I can demonstrate this a little better. Now, as you can see, we've got these little bumps where we beveled out, okay? And, of course, the fall-off, it's stronger in the middle of the fall-off. And as it goes out, you can see the bumps get less, the strength of the bumps get lower and lower, and it falls off. Hence the name fall-off. So now I've got the bevel tool activated. I have my fall-off radius set. With this airbrush fall-off, I can go in here, and I can just paint these bevels in. Let me back out here a little bit. As you can see, I'm painting this these bevels on, and it don't have to be bevel. It can be scale. Any 100% of the tools inside Moto work with the fall off, so I don't have to use the bevel. I could use the pin, the the smooth shift, or the spiky or the inset or the shift tool I can use any of these with with this airbrush or any other fall off and let's set our airbrush fall off a little smaller I can go in here and let's paint on our airbrush see now we're painting on our little bevels here hence the term airbrush and again by right clicking we can adjust the strength and the radius of our fall off there we go and it's a little bigger now if we want to change that we just go to our tools and as we do you can see everything that was painted on with airbrush fall off is adjustable okay so this is a super powerful tool within moto that the more experience you get with modeling and the more you get into modeling things and the more you get your workflow down at first you'll stick with the simple things you'll do things the long way you'll do things the hard way 
But that's okay. Everybody starts out doing things the long way and the hard way. They don't think to use these specialized tools when they start out. Most people would just go in here and pick the polygons they want to bevel by selecting them, then hitting the B key or Shift B and doing it manually instead of using this fall off to paint them on, you see. But the more experience you have at Modo and 3D modeling in general, the more you'll remember to use these special tools and the more your modeling workflow will improve. And um, this is something that takes many, many, many years of immersing yourself in it to even begin to get to the point to where you're going to be able to um, really fully understand this because there's so much to 3D that it's just too much for one person to take on when you talk about animation and you know and rigging and fluids and modeling it's just too much for too daunting for one individual to cover especially in a short period of time so immerse yourself in it expect to be immersed in it for years to come and eventually you'll have that clarity one morning you'll wake up and it'll just click for you and that's when you can really produce and can start being dangerous and producing some really good work so that is one of our falloffs explained the airbrush falloff select the tool you want select the airbrush falloff set your tool settings and paint away and like I said it don't have to be the bevel it can be any tool within Modo now as you can see over here in my tool pop I have my polygon bevel going I have my airbrush fall off going okay here's my action center set to axis okay down here under element move it's auto and here's axis so as you can see to work this airbrush tool it's a combination of an action center screen an action axis screen which action center is on screen okay as it says it's checked off there so as you can see action center screen and I just turn that off I can go back in here and turn it back on and it's back so we have our airbrush fall off right there we have our polygon bevel activated we have our action axis screen our action center set to screen is what that means um, and our action axis is set to screen so if you combine these four tools into one you get the tool that we've made and you can make your own custom tools like this you can combine any number of action centers any number of fall offs into this tool pipe and with any number of tools and all of them together will make one tool just like this action center set to screen action axis set to screen with an airbrush fall off and a polygon bevel makes this tool that we got right here and I could save this tool as a preset if I would like that's all up to you and the amount the types of tools you can build is just absolutely amazing these are all preset action centers down here you can actually set your axis like this one here is action center and action axis so here's our action centers and here's our action axes and we can set these to any individual thing you can set your center to any individual um, setting and you can set them up here which are presets so these two here allow you to make completely customizable made from scratch um, action centers and you can combine these custom action centers with fall offs and make special tools like we have here the airbrush I hope some of that made sense to you guys. Now that I'm done with this fall off, I can go over here to Polygon Bevel and uncheck it. Turn on my advanced. You can turn also turn on your advanced tools by clicking these little buttons here. Okay. So now that we're done with all this, I'm going to right click and I'm going to remove my tool. Remove my airbrush fall off, which you can remove by coming up here too. Okay. Now my tool pop is empty and I'm ready to go on to my next step. So that, my friends, is the airbrush fall off and a brief explanation of how things work in a fast, rundown type of way. Hope you've learned something. We'll see you next time.